It's January, it's cold here in Tennessee, which means that we're maybe not outside racing and practicing as much as we normally are, and we're trying to find more ways to have fun with drones. It's not that hard, but we need more platforms to do it, and one way that a lot of people like to have fun is by flying really far. Some may call it long range, and then the true long range purists like to say that anything less than like 100 miles isn't long range, that's mid range or short range or whatever. Long story short, we wanna fly far and we wanna make products that do that. So today we're announcing the Light Switch Long Range, which, why is it called the Light Switch Long Range? Well, it's because we have all of these light switch frames and there are thousands of light switch frames out in the world. So we wanted to be able to offer people a way to turn their racing frame that they use in the summer into a long range frame in the winter, or maybe if they wanna just adapt over one of their racing frames to a long range frame, give them an easy and inexpensive way of doing that. So basically what you can think of the light switch long range is, is a light switch V2. So it is literally a light switch V2 racing frame. This is my normal like Foxier ESC hobby wing flight controller that I will use in a racing build. And then we add these seven inch arms, as you can see here. And these motors, these are street league motors. So my typical 2808, 1300 KV motor that I would use in street league off one of my spec sevens or something. I can just take those off, bolt them on, solder them right up. Don't have to extend motor wires or anything like that from a other seven inch frame. Then add the braces on and voila, I have a long range racing frame. You can fly HD0 or analog, but I wanted to fly DJI 03, and this frame carries the DJI 03 no problem. So you see this pod, your DJI 03 will actually mount on top of your top plate and then give you a nice little mount for your 03 camera, giving you a nice, super sleek aerodynamic design to, again, fly really far, really efficiently in one direction. So this isn't gonna be the perfect freestyle ripping around quad. It's not gonna be great for racing or anything like that. It is meant to cruise and fly for a long time, quietly and efficiently, and that's exactly what it does. I'm gonna take it for a flight so you guys can see, get my live reaction and kind of just see what it's like to cruise this thing around, and then also talk a little bit after that about some of the different things that we plan to add to the production model such as getting props out of you to use it as a chase quad, all different types of things. But first, I just wanna fly and let you guys see how much fun it is. The point being to fly for as long as possible, you definitely wanna put as big a battery on there as possible. As big as I would go up to is maybe like a 6S5000, and that would be really pushing it. It is a pretty small body, so from an aerodynamic perspective, a huge battery on there isn't the best, but eventually capacity will outweigh the aerodynamic downsides. So, but what I've been running personally, at least recently, is these 3300 mAh 6S batteries on the bigger side. So that's for going really straight for a really long time, not really worrying about any swooping or anything like that. It'll definitely fly for a long time. I'm in the 10 to, nine to 10 minute flight time range. And uh, it's not gonna be as punchy or anything like that. But, and I only have a few of these. So I definitely use them more for my, just like I said, long range uh, straight line flights. But because I fly Street League, and which requires a 5S 2200 milliamp hour battery, we have a bunch of these. This is the Pyrodrone uh, battery, which I'll put a link to in the description. This seems to be a really nice mixture of performance, flight time, and just overall flight feel. So that's what, I'll fly both of them right now. I'm gonna put some flight footage up. And uh, you'll also get to hear just how quiet this thing is. Typically a seven inch quad might be a little loud because it is heavy, but if you have a humongous prop on a super light quad, similar to like a DJI Mavic, which is like a nine inch propeller on a relatively light drone, it actually gets a very almost calming noise profile in comparison to other FPV drones out there, which I think is cool. So I'm going to strap on, this is gonna be the 5S 2200 milliamp hour from Pyrodrone. And then we're just gonna go cruise around. Um, I am at the my parents' place, so the 533 shop, they are uh, one and the same. Uh, so I can't really go far here, but I'm sure there'll be maybe some long range content that comes out on this channel. So keep an eye out for that. But I can fly around, cruise around, and get you guys some fun footage. Here's what you can expect it to look like. So you see the 2200 5S actually fits on there pretty nicely. And the props, I'm running the HQ 7x4x3. Those are the props that I prefer most uh, in Street League. 
and I think they're a, a fantastic seven inch prop. And this frame will fit just about any seven inch size prop. I am freezing. So you can hear just how quiet this thing is. I love it. Super smooth. And I'm just cruising around at like 50% throttle. So as you see, this 5S2200 gives it plenty of flight performance. I'm not having to punch it. It's such a lightweight 7 inch that it just absolutely cuts through the sky and will just fly forever because you're barely using any power. I wish I could come down, let's see if I can come down and see what my hover throttle is roughly. But the hover throttle, like I'm hovering at like 20% or less throttle and if we can do a punch out here, you can gain altitude fast and then just catch it like it's nothing because it weighs so little. Once I go inside, I will put it on a scale to try and get you guys an idea. But I just think it's such an awesome platform to cruise around with. And then you can take the arms off, put on normal light switch V2 arms, and then you have a five inch race quad again. So I think that's really cool. Or you can go vice versa, have your five inch race quad and then put some seven inch arms on and go cruise around for fun. Because I think at least from racing, I've been racing my whole life, it's really easy to get looped into, roped into just wanting to compete. And you kind of lose the joy and fun that FPV is. And this is a great quad, at least for me recently, to kind of just give me that feeling of, you know what? FPV is pretty sick. So I hope you can kind of see that and get a taste of it for yourself with a light switch long range. But because it's getting cold and dark, I'm going to try and bring it in so you can hear what it's like on a heavier 6S3300. an idea of what it looks like flying. I think it looks pretty cool. I'll land it now. Sweet. <laughs> I think that thing is awesome. Motors not warm at all. Again, I, I don't think you could tell maybe off my stick cam, but was barely on the throttle. And that is just on 5S. These are 2808 1300 kV motors, which is definitely more for 5S than it is 6S, but they, this whole setup can take 6S no problem, especially if you're just cruising and not necessarily full, um, you know, just going for it all the time. And the tune seems to be pretty decent going between 5 and 6S and I'll make sure to put uh, the tune that I have on here in the description below as well, as well as all the uh, light switch long range product descriptions. And this is definitely a crazier setup. It's probably gonna be a little bit louder, but it'll fly for forever. So you can hear already, it's definitely got some more power. Definitely a little bit louder because it is heavier. but so powerful. And it just carves, like check this out. Effortlessly. And so stable too. was accidentally really cool. And 
again, with this 6S, I can get probably closer to the 10 minutes of flight time, which is really awesome for something like this. And the 5S, I would say, is closer to seven to eight minutes, but you get a little bit of that quieter, more crew, uh, flowy flight feel. One thing I will point out that I'm sure you can see is the props in view. And you do have the prop nuts in the bottom right, but we I think the production version is going to have a pod that gets the camera up just a hair higher to remove that as a problem. So then it could be used as like a live stream rig, a chasing rig, because think about it, if you're not carrying a GoPro and just using the O3, then this would be a fantastic way to chase subjects that are very fast for an extended period of time in comparison to a big 7 inch rig that's super inefficient in comparison. Bring it in now. Hey, what's up? What's up? So, super short flights there. Obviously, you could fly for way longer, but my hands are freezing and it's getting cold. But just wanted to show you guys kind of the flight feel you can expect from a light switch long range because it, it really is something special. It's not going to be the, the best filming quad ever. It's not going to have the most props out of you at low tilt or anything like that. It's really just built to fly quietly, to fly fast, to fly efficiently and to build off something that so many pilots already have in the Light Switch V2. So we're really excited about it. You can buy just the arm kit from 533's website if you want to upgrade your current Light Switch V2, or you can buy the whole frame kit from scratch as well. I think we also are going to offer ready to flies uh, here in the next week or so if you want to just get one built and sent your way. But I think the frame kit cost is like $74.99, which I think is very, very, very reasonable for the pod and all the things you're getting. And the arm kit is only $34.99 if you're upgrading one of your current frames. So hopefully this allows a lot of people to get some cool long range quads to go fly with your friends. I know me, Armando, and so many of the local Knoxville people have had a big time cruising around flying long range recently. And hopefully you guys can experience that too because I know sometimes it's easy to forget and um, kind of lose sight of how much fun FPV is if you're just cruising around and this is the perfect quad for that. So thanks for watching so much. Hope you guys enjoyed the flight footage. I'll try and post up some more long range adventures uh, over the next few weeks. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.